Officials from the Ministry of Trade and Investment in Guatemala are in Belize for a two-day conference with their Belizean counterparts to discuss ways to improve the trade relations between the two countries. An official opening was held this morning at the Ramada Princess Hotel where we spoke with the head of the Belize delegation and chief executive officer for the Ministry of Trade and Investment, Mike Singh. This um, event today is the annual meeting of what's called the Administrative Commission. And the Administrative Commission is a, co a binational commission set up between the two ministries of trade in Belize and Guatemala. And the intent is to give life to the PSA and to find out where the area is, where the PSA is not working, and how we can take administrative measures to, to improve those issues. Um, along with that, this is also the five-year anniversary of the partial scope agreement. And at the five-year anniversary, we actually have an option to, to um, update the agreement, to actually expand it, to add new items on the list and to look at areas where we can, we can um, um, make it better so that we can improve trade. This, it's a two-day discussion and looking at administrative issues and to see where we need to strengthen um, those issues and also to enable some committees that are going to be binational committees to work on those administrative issues that need to be fixed. Love News also spoke with the Vice Minister of Guatemala's Economy and Commerce in Guatemala. Maria Luisa Flores via Gran. She spoke to us on the benefits that Guatemala sees through this agreement, as well as some of the challenges faced. Hemos visto beneficios en las cifras de comercio. Realmente hemos venido creciendo un 15% anual. Sin embargo, lo más importante no son las cifras como tal, sino que consideramos a Belice como un aliado comercial muy importante. Belice es como en Centroamérica para nosotros El Salvador, porque somos nuestro mercado natural. Y creo que este acuerdo sí cumple los objetivos de desarrollo, no solo para Guatemala, sino para Belice, para ambos países, porque en la medida que los dos tengamos Excluding first, strengthen the mechanisms pues for implementation. It is important to take into account that when one negotiates a partial scope agreement, it is start. But way ahead, they have, they have to be taken a series of actions administratively and technically for the agreement to be strengthened. We, have, we plan to develop some decisions oriented first to create the working committees, including the health plan, access to market, the committee of origin, the committee included in the agreement. We also have a series of issues related to agriculture that are important for both countries and also the administrative commission how it will do its work so that in the future we can continue to have these meetings in the manner we have been having them with cordiality but with set and transparent guidelines for both countries. Some of the challenges are related to the access list. Really the number of products that we negotiated in the partial scope agreement was about 70 products and we believe that there is a greater potential in the two countries where we could bring more products that could be of benefit since we are like complementary economies. We think that we have important issues in the facilitation of commerce and both countries have to work so that we, who are like instruments for generating the conditions in the governments in order to give support to medium and small enterprises, being that they are the ones generating the production being that they are the ones that generate the production, can take advantage of it. Para que nosotros que somos como instrumentos de generar las condiciones en los gobiernos, podamos apoyar a las pequeñas y medianas empresas para que siendo ellos los que generan la actividad productiva, lo puedan aprovechar. While there are undoubtedly benefits to both countries via this cooperation between Belize and Guatemala, there are challenges as well, which the delegations will be discussing over the next two days. Singh and Dr. Leroy Almendarez, the Directorate of Foreign Trade, spoke of what some of those challenges are. Well, it's had mixed results. Um, I think early on we had um, better um, uptake by the Belizean producers to expand production for Guatemalan markets. And that's still ongoing. Um, but what has happened is that we're finding that administrative roadblocks, particularly on the Guatemala side, has been hindering our ability to expand 
or exports. Not to say the exports aren't expanding because they're still in formal trade that actually has expanded more than the formal trade, which tells us that we do need to look at administrative issues. So that's the reason we're doing this today. Well, some of the issues will be in a formative discussion, and, and so therefore we don't want to preempt the discussion because they still have to be discussed. At the end of the two days, we will have a press brief, and so the outcomes of these two days will be discussed, and then we'll be t open to, you know, to questions. But one, but one of the things that we have to bring resolution to is the whole idea of transfer payments. In other words, products coming in and products going out, there, there must be some mechanism to facilitate the movement of currency. And that's one of the big challenges that needs resolution. And so it's, that one might not be resolved after these two days, but we hope that by engaging, you know, even our central bank, that there could be a possible resolution to it. But whatever technical barriers exist, technical barriers, you know, financial barriers, those are ones that you want to bring resolution to. Non-technical barriers could be like how long products stay at the border, you know, in terms of the procedures that they have to comply with. Sometimes technical and not non-technical, those are the kind of things that affect trade. And so trade facilitation issues are issues that always have to be addressed. But as I said, after these two days, we will have a much better idea because there will be signature by both countries to whatever is agreed to. According to CEO Singh, following this meeting of the Commission, there may be some fine-tuning of the partial scope agreement between the two countries. The conference continues today and tomorrow, after which the media will be briefed on the resolutions.